Mobile Wrist has many different features that we need to discuss. It can be in an unlocked position where the ball is and terminal device are free to rotate, both rotation as well as flexion extension. And then it can also be locked by pressing the button in any position. If it's locked and you don't want it to move, you can take the button and turn it a little bit and then it can't be depressed. You can turn it back again so that the slot is lined up here and then when you press it, it can be unlocked again. And then friction can be applied to the ball by rotating the ring and that makes it a little bit harder to bend the wrist but leaves it in an unlocked state and then released obviously the same way so that it becomes very free moving. It's also a quick disconnect so on the ball there's another button right here and if you press that button the hook can be taken out and put back in so you would need to have on any number of these little quick disconnect adapters that now is on the hook would be on all of the other items you might want to put into the prosthesis. So that's the robo wrist.